month after Hurricane Maria, Maria hit Puerto Rico, people are still struggling to recover. 250,000 people are expected to leave that island, and guess what? Most are headed here to Florida. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino explains how Polk County is handling that influx of people relocating. Groups continue to send relief supplies to Puerto Rico, but the situation there is so dire, many are having to relocate. And as you can imagine, starting over isn't easy. I lost 20 years, 28 years. I lost a house. Maria Rissage had no choice but to leave everything behind in Puerto Rico. My sons and my husband, if they are too. They're still there. <laughs> yes, he have to because FEMA <laughs> supposed to, you know, give some help. But with help nowhere in sight, Maria and her grandson moved to Lakeland to stay with relatives. In Puerto Rico, uh, we don't have no medical assistance, no, no schools, no nothing. She hoped relocating would get them back on their feet, but instead, everywhere she turns for help, turns her away. Call this another number, or call this another number. Finding health care, housing, even a close enough school for her grandson, who has autism, has been a challenge. You thought that, you know, every, everybody knows about what happened in Puerto Rico, and maybe they, you know, can help us because, but it's not like that. And she's not alone. The Polk County School District has already enrolled 159 students from Puerto Rico since Maria. The Puerto Rican Hispanic Chamber president says many are facing the same challenges. The issues that we're, we're finding is that we need to address immediately, not like tomorrow or next week. It's more or less yesterday. We're looking at education, health, housing, and employment. It's so difficult. I never thought that it's going to be, you know, so difficult for, for us. The chamber is in the process of planning an event for November 10th, a round table with people that are relocating here and people from the community to get them some help. We have more information on our website and our WFLA app. In Lakeland, Melissa Marino, News Channel 8.